Dear Katana Magazine friends, it's such a pleasure to record this very interesting clip at Samurai Academy headquarters located in Ottawa with headmaster Dwayne Diamond. It was a privilege to watch him working and sharing techniques at Webb's International Congress some weeks ago. He has very spectacular and effective techniques that speak loud about his fusion of all his background in martial arts, but he's going to explain to us in depth. It's an honor to be at your school. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Please tell us how did you start with the martial arts in the first place? But uh, when I was about eight years old, I started with uh, judo and uh, really enjoyed the judo career. I uh, loved the martial arts. It was an instant thing for me. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I, I got hooked. My mom put me into many different things. I was in martial arts and swimming and gymnastics. And martial arts always stuck with me for many years. Stayed with judo for a couple of years. And I remember leaving my judo class and walked into a gymnasium where there were hundreds, literally uh, an army of Taekwondo um, enthusiasts and Taekwondo martial artists. And this really intrigued me, the amount of people that were in organized and uh, you know moving techniques together. It was very impressive. Uh, and that really took off for me in martial arts. I started my Taekwondo career. I uh, stayed with Taekwondo for 13 years, studying. 13. 13 years, yeah, and, and I studied many uh, different variations of Taekwondo from um, General Choi, which is where I started with the ITF. ITF, okay. That's correct, and I stayed with them for quite some time, became a black belt, and also studied the, the WTF uh, as well. Uh, after 13 years of Taekwondo, I was um, really still intrigued with the martial arts, and I came across Jiu Jitsu. Um, Jiu Jitsu started to explode upon the market more than ever uh, with MMA and, and watching these events and, and Jiu Jitsu really caught my interest. I started uh, Jiu Jitsu and it's been 18 years now uh, studying the art and I had a look back and I, I truly love this style. Who do you recognize as your masters in, in Jiu Jitsu, main masters and the main influence in Taekwondo also? Name a few. For sure, uh, General Choi was a big influence for me. My first master was Master Paul Bolin, who's not with us anymore. Uh, fantastic martial artist. He was a seventh dan in Taekwondo. Spent quite a bit, quite a few years with him and learned quite a bit. Uh, now, Henshi Robert Panatin uh, is uh, our dojo headmaster. He's a 10th degree black belt in, in Jiu Jitsu. And uh, we follow him and, and support him too as well. Uh, also, not only as uh, the Samurai Arts Academy, but under the uh, Jiu Jitsu organization that he has developed as well. Okay, now you're also part of WEBS. Tell us something about that. You know, it's, it's definitely an honor to be a part of this group. Uh, WEBS has uh, definitely been around for a long time. We've heard that name in martial arts for many years, and now we follow that flag. We fly that flag strong in our school, and it's a big thing to be a part of the World Elite Black Belt Society, and we, we spread that word throughout our school too as well. It's an honor to be with, with such a great organization. How would you define your style of martial arts? It's a blend of, of all your influences. How you describe it? For sure, um, you know, we have a big Japanese jiu-jitsu background. Uh, I've also studied many years of Taekwondo, so my striking ability comes from Taekwondo. So we've combined the Japanese jiu-jitsu with the Taekwondo striking. And we also have a big background in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, so this is where our ground game comes into play. So we try to keep it a, uh, a well-rounded style martial arts from stand-up to joint locks and manipulation to a full ground game of martial arts too as well. We also incorporate weapons into our style so we can be a fully rounded style martial art. Knife blades uh, that we work with too as well, so both knife on knife fighting and open hand, and then of course the bow. Uh, we do bow kata and then bow on bow, uh, bow versus open hand too as well. This is a weapons rack that was also uh, made here by one of our students as well. What would you like your legacy in martial arts to be like? How would you like to be remembered? For me, it's about family, it's about sharing, and it's about learning. You know, you never stop learning martial arts. And, uh, you know, I think for me, if I can leave anything behind, it's something to the next generation to, to carry on about family and keep the traditional style of martial arts and, and uh, with honor and respect uh, through, through families of the schools, for sure.
Going three, two, one, action. Hey, yes, hey, yes.